Imagine you were in your room watching a Netflix series, and you felt hungry, but you feel hesitant to grab a snack. Soon you remember the AI robot you bought recently and ask for help. Now the trending news about ChatGPT is that it delivered 500% returns in the stock market and outpaces the conventional sentimental analysis models used by hedge funds, as we can see in the chart of cumulative returns of investing $1 without any transaction costs you will wonder how this is possible. The concept works by giving data like article headlines and tweets and plugging into ChatGPT to get a reading of how the market will behave and then trade based on the analysis provided by the chatbot. So if the chatbot can predict the stock market with 99% accuracy, will it break the financial industry? Share your thoughts in the comments. The chatbot has developed a new robot and works by providing physical assistance like user preferences. For instance, by personalizing household cleanup, the robot can tidy up rooms by picking up objects and putting them away. However, a key challenge is determining a proper place to keep each object, as people's preferences will vary. So it is important to build a system that can learn different preferences from a handful of experiences, and hence robots were provided the capability of combined language-based planning and perception. Moreover, the approach helps in faster adaptation and 91.2% accuracy on unseen objects. However, in real time, the tidy has successfully placed 85% of the objects and does not need continuous training. So far, the chatbot has continued to dazzle the internet with AI-generated content and has grown from a novel chatbot to a piece of technology driving the internet. However, not every user is still not on board. Meta has announced a new open-source AI model that links multiple data streams, including text, audio, temperature, and movement readings. Even though the model is just a research project at this stage, AI systems can create immersive and multi-sensory experiences. Moreover, continues to share AI research at a time when OpenAI and Google have become secretive. The core concept of the research is to link multiple types of data into a single multi-dimensional index to use. For instance, we have image generators like Midjourney and DAL-E that link together text and images during the training stage. Furthermore, the image generators look for patterns in visual data while connecting that information to the image description, enabling the system to generate images and follow the user's input text. Meta said their model, ImageBind, is the first to combine six data types into a single embedded space, including visual, text, audio, and movement readings. However, the idea is that future AI systems will be able to cross-reference the data like current AI systems do for text inputs. Moreover, you can ask the model to put you on a long sea voyage, and it would not only place you on a ship with the noise of the waves in the background, but also rocking the deck under our feet and the cool air breeze. Even though all concepts are speculative, the immediate applications of research like this will likely be much more limited. For example, last year, Meta introduced an AI model that generates short and blurred videos from text descriptions and works like ImageBind, showing how future versions of the system could incorporate other streams of data, generating audio to match the video input. However, some people oppose open sourcing like OpenAI and believe the practice harms creators since rivals can copy their work. Moreover, they claimed such models could be dangerous and allow malicious actors to use AI models. Furthermore, Advocates said that open sources allow third parties to scrutinize the systems for faults. However, some believe that open sources can be beneficial as it allows hiring third-party developers as unpaid workers to improve their work. Recently, Meta started open-sourced Llama, which is a language model started as an alternative movement to OpenAI and Google. The one modality that one may not recognize is IMU, which stands for Inertial Measuring Unit, and the technology is found in phones and smartwatches where they perform a range of tasks including switching the view from landscape to portrait when the device is physically rotated. Meta writes in a press release where they say, Today we are introducing an approach that brings machines one step closer to humans' ability to learn simultaneously, holistically, and directly from many different forms of information without the need for explicit supervision. Moreover, in a blog post meta, as the number of modalities increases, ImageBind opens the floodgate for researchers to try to develop new, holistic systems, such as combining 3D and IMU sensors to design or experience immersive virtual worlds. However, with generative AI becoming more advanced, 
some warn of the potential catastrophe that the training data for AI models are facing more scrutiny, with the EU threatening AI companies to reveal their data. There is still a lot to uncover about multimodal learning, and we hope the research community will explore ImageBind and find new ways to evaluate vision models and lead to novel applications. Hope you all enjoyed the content, and if so, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, please do share your valuable thoughts in the comments. See you and have a great day.